Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to survive a year and don't starve together without using any inventory slots. I will explain some things in further detail as the video progresses, but for now just pick Willow and start exploring the map by following any roads you see. The one thing you need to find is the pickaxe from the marble statue set piece that always spawns. Since you can't craft a pickaxe due to having zero slots to store items in, this will be your only way to get a pickaxe. The pickaxe is important because it allows you to mine a cave entrance, which will then give you access to the caves that can prevent you from overheating in summer. While I was searching for the pickaxe, I came across the swamp. You don't have to do this, but if you want a strong weapon, you can hang around the swamp and wait for the merms to kill the tentacles so they drop a tentacle spike. You don't need the tentacle spike to survive, but it is a nice way to kill the hounds when they come. Finally, on my second day, I was lucky enough to come across the pickaxe set piece. Since you can only hold one item in your hand slot, I had to temporarily drop my lighter and mine a nearby cave entrance with the pickaxe while I had the time. Now that I have done everything I wanted to do, the only thing to do now is to wait for the seasons to pass. Since the rest of the video is just me walking around and doing nothing, I should probably explain a few things. First, every season is set to short so that a full year is 20 days rather than 72. This is because sitting still for 9 hours straight does not sound fun or interesting at all. Even with just 20 days, this took me over 3 hours of sitting and doing the bare minimum to survive, which is already enough. The other thing that was changed in the world settings was to make the world always loop. This is more or less to make the pickaxe set piece easier to find. However, since I already found the pickaxe, this doesn't really affect much other than make the world look like a loop. Even though I have zero slots in my inventory, I still have a hand slot I can put items with. This is how I carry my lighter without having to actually use it and waste durability. The hand slot is necessary for survival because without it, you would not be able to eat food and you would starve. Speaking of food, it is actually not a problem in this world, since you can just walk around the entire map and eat any berries or carrots you find. The real problem is light, because you are unable to craft a torch that requires you to have at least two inventory slots. Although you could just use fireflies to survive the night, winter would kill you from freezing. This is where Willow comes in. You can use her lighter she spawns with to set trees on fire to easily survive the night and winter. You may be wondering why I don't just look for the backpack set piece or try and kill Krampus for a Krampus sack. That is because I am banning the use of backpacks for this run. The simple reason being that it ruins the whole challenge. There is no point to trying to survive with zero slots if you can just pick up a backpack and easily craft and store anything you need. The challenge in this run, I would say, comes from the fact that you can't craft anything, and so will have to rely on alternate methods to survive. If I were to just pick up a backpack, that would destroy the whole point. Similarly, I have also banned Chester. Although you can't use his extra slots to craft anything, I felt it would be dishonest to make a video where I survive at zero slots if I just used Chester to store everything. Anyways, it has just become winter, which means I will need to stop moving every few seconds to burn a tree and heat up. Other than the seasonal change, nothing else significant really happens. This video is a little bit different from most of my other ones. However, since I already made two videos failing at this exact challenge, the least I could do is actually complete it and explain how I did it. In fact, this is not as hard to do as it seems. If you have played Don't Starve at least once, you could probably be able to do this challenge. The biggest factor stopping you would be boredom since you are basically doing nothing for 3 hours. Unfortunately, you can't just AFK and win. 
you have to actually sit there for those three hours and basically babysit your character to make sure they don't die to darkness or starvation. But if time is not an issue, then I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do this. Also yes, I am using a mod to decrease my slots to zero. It was made by Arturian Titan and is in the description if you want to try it out. It allows you to play Don't Starve with as little slots as you want, which in this case is zero. I wouldn't recommend playing with zero slots since it is mostly boring, however, I would say that you should try playing with only one slot since it is actually really interesting, because if you are good enough, you can probably do things like kill Dragonfly or clear the ruins with only one slot. Let me know if you want to see a video on that. Spring has arrived. This is basically the same as the rest of the seasons, with the only difference being that you have to sit next to a burning tree to avoid freezing from the constant rain. I did use a straw hat I found from the skeleton at the oasis, but it didn't really do anything against the rain. Before summer starts, I actually mine another cave entrance, which is closer to some food. This will be important in a bit. On to probably the most interesting season, which is summer. You basically have to go down there into the caves, since you do not overheat down there. Once you are down there, you may find a few carrots, but that is about it. You are going to starve without another food source. That is why it is important to enter a cave entrance next to some food. At some point during the summer, you will need to exit the caves and quickly eat all the food around you and then go back in the caves before you overheat. I got a bit lucky with this world gen and found a pig village next to a cave, but any cave entrance in a green biome should work as well. Once you are in the caves, you have basically done it. Only a few days left of summer and then you have completed the challenge. Anyways, that is how you survive and don't starve at zero slots. Do I regret my decision to do this? Yes. 